Right, so before we get into the video, I just want to say there's meant to be another video coming after this one, but um, that's not happening. For reasons I am unbelievably angry with, um, I lost the entire edit to the file, the forest ranking video. Um, quite a few of you were actually really looking forward to that, and so was I. I actually put four days worth of editing into that, and uh, two days worth of research. I've actually got an entire Word document of about... 15 pages, but uh, it was all worthless right now. I'm meant to be resting my voice right now, but I couldn't really do that this morning simply because of how, well, I don't really want to swear, but you get the gist, you know? Really angry about that. It was it took me such a long time to do that, and it was a really good video. But uh, no, this is going to be the final video that I upload for about a week or so because, like I said in the previous video, I'm taking a break for a bit from YouTube because of my throat, like I just said. Plus the fact I've been grinding for like seven straight months, so I think I ought to just take a break anyway. And it's it's good to do that occasionally, you know. But yeah, not the greatest start to the video, or the most happiest, but hopefully you can enjoy this one, because it is a good episode. That first video might still come, but it's whether I can be bothered to edit it again, and whether I can calm down in time. So yeah, <sighs> let's get into the video. But of course, we're back with another episode of the Portsmouth career mode in FIFA 20. Just a quick reminder, I don't normally do this. If you do enjoy my content, please like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at rads underscore 23 where I really don't post enough. I will promise, I have said this quite a few times now, I will post on there more. But yeah, please go, do go and follow me over there. In this episode, of course, we've got Bournemouth away from home. Now, I still haven't researched because, you know, I'm not very professional. Hence the reason why I lose footage occasionally in videos, which is, you know, as I say, sarcastically, high quality professionalism. They might be some form of rivalry. I don't know. Am I completely wrong about that? If there's a Portsmouth fan watching this, let me know. If you do you hate Bournemouth to any degree, in, in, to any level, you know? We're also going to play Wolves, obviously a massive game, and FC Porto in the Europa League at home. Cannot wait to play that. Obviously simulating Forest, and I think West Ham is another game we can simulate as well. We're 10th in the league after seven games, 11 points. We're still kind of deciding on what is going to happen this season. Are we going to be hunting for Europe? More or less, this just been table, or are we going to get dragged into relegation? Only I doubt that's going to happen. Given how we performed, it looks unlikely. But let's play this game against Bournemouth. I didn't play them very much at all in the Forest series. I think I played them once away from home. In fact, ever. I think I lost, in fact. So, you know, first time in a while, Bournemouth away. So it is our first night game in the Premier League. In my opinion, a night game is always better. There's just always a better atmosphere, a better buzz, and... If there's scenes, it always just feels better at night. And yes, by the way, I know I'm wearing a forest shirt to do this, but that's because a video coming out later this week involves forest and the ranking video. That's all I'm going to say. But this is our team, of course, full strength. As for Bournemouth, Callum Wilson's still there. I, Gosling's still there. Same for Fraser, uh, Chris Meppham, Kamara. I'm pretty. Is he the one with uh, really high potential from France? I don't even know. Jack Stace is pretty good. I've got him in another career mode off camera. And uh, Begovic is back there now as well. So, yeah, pretty realistic, I suppose. Bournemouth, another team that have had an incredible rise over recent years from League 1 and League 2 at one point, and now they're in the Premier League as a regular. But, yeah, it's going to be a tough game, this. Wilson, good chance for them. Gosling, no one's really on him. He goes for goal straight at Henderson. Smith Rowe, good chance. Nemecha goes for goal. It's literally the best we've come. It, it appears... That we're happening again, isn't it? If you remember the last episode, the first two games, the further it got on, I was getting more and more agitated because we just couldn't score. The first two games were nil-nil, and then we went to win five-one in the last game. Please don't let that happen again, lads. Ibe, good chance for them. Straight at Henderson. Ibe again, good chance for Bournemouth. No one's really closing him down. They go for goal, and they find the back of the net just before half time. I've not got going. I'll be honest. I've not. I mean, it's, this is an excuse, but I've not played FIFA for two days prior to this. But still, um, yeah, this shows, doesn't matter who you're playing against, you are going to lose games like this, like Watford, for instance, you know. I thought we'd win that, maybe. And even though we beat Spurs and Leicester, you know, we've still had slip-ups like this, but they take the lead just before half-time. There is the half-time whistle, of course. 1-0 Bournemouth, they lead. Um, it's not been great. We've not got going. Neither team has really, but they certainly have been the better side if you have to pick one. Um, we've got to improve in the second half. Power goes for goal. Puts it just wide. Bearing. 
Callum Wilson, good chance. It is all Bournemouth. Not got any better. Marquise has proven himself. So he's coming on for power. And Yassin Adli, who, by the way, has already gone up 78 overall off of Ben Close. Plus a chance for Seddon instead of Williams. A corner to Bournemouth, though. It has not been a good game, this at all. Fraser swings it in. Comes to nothing. We get it away. This is, just, this is basically what it is. We've, we've beaten all the top sides, bar... Obviously, Man United, that was a great pass. That was unbelievable, David. But, like, we're losing to teams like this and to Watford. And yet, in, in the Europa League, we scored eight goals in two games. That's great timing, isn't it? Because, literally, the moment I pressed record, <laughs> the goal went in. I literally pressed shoot, and then I got a notification saying it had stopped recording. Because I have to do it slightly differently compared to more normal people doing videos. That sounds weird. But anyway... Yeah, you didn't actually see the goal properly. You probably would have seen it split. But Marquise, that's, that's terrible, isn't it? Marquise puts us level against Bournemouth. Do we deserve it? No. No, no, we don't. We, we really don't. We've been terrible in this game. And yeah, about the uh, clip there. At least they didn't lose footage this time. But it's just not very good timing at all. I know people say that they don't care. You know, quite a few times I've had that. But still, it isn't great, is it? Full time, 1-1 one, one with Bournemouth. I'll bloody take that. It's another thing that's wrong with FIFA 20. I don't know how the fans can be booing at that. Because even though they dominated, that's still a very good point for Bournemouth. Um, but yeah, 1-1. One, one. I'll take that against... Uh, I'm just going to say the rivals. Um, yeah, we didn't deserve it. But we're going to have to snatch and grab at times this season. Of course, we now have Wolves at home. A big game that. Followed by, of course, Porto in the Europa League. And then we'll, of course, simulate Forest and uh, West Ham. And we have a monthly scouting update here. Um, I mean, just looking at the overalls, there's nothing really. My God, this is actually terrible. Oh my God, can you get any worse? The highest, I mean, that guy could be 71 to 91. That is horrendous. But anyway, Wolves at home, a big game this. Uh, obviously, they've had an incredible rise in real life and now look like a full-on staple of the Premier League and bloody Europe as well. They've been so good in the Europa League this season as well. To see there, by the way, Williams has already gone up by two overall, plus Adley, which is fantastic. But Wolves at home, going to be a very big game this. It's a winnable game as well. I think out of all the teams that are up there, this is one that we could potentially get a win, get a win against, but it's not going to be easy, this. Back at Fratton Park, of course, to face Wolves. And like I just said, They've had an incredible time in recent years. Giamatini is still there. He's got to be when it's there is at this point. But yeah, back at our home ground. I mean, we have won one game this season already here in the uh, league, of course, against Spurs. Let's try and make it two. As for our team, of course, it is full strength. As for Wolves, Jimenez is still there. Jota, uh, kind of Roden is there. I'm pretty sure he's on loan at like Blackpool in real life or something. Uh, Giamatini, like I said. Johnny Bender, Kilman, Bolly, Doherty. And Patricio. So still a lot of actual players in that team. That's brilliant. The matcher could square it. Could be an instant goal. And it is an instant goal from Troy Power. No waiting. I'm looking around this time. Could not have dreamt of a better start than that. Immediately in. Brilliant uh, assist from the matcher. No one was really picking him up. Straight into the power. Oh, what a brilliant finish. I mean, it's simple but effective. And we lead Wolves already 1 0. This would be a fantastic win. This power could be 2. Power, brilliant, could be two, what a finish from Ronan Curtis, and what a start to this game, man. I was a little bit flat playing that Bournemouth game, but that's got me hyped up without a doubt. This is a, let me just see this back, that is actually an unbelievable goal. The, the way he hit that was mental, the way he hit that on the volley, I know it's like right in front of the goal, but that was an unbelievable finish from Curtis, another goal for him, the, of course... Main man in real life for Portsmouth. Still bagging goals in the Premier League. His first one in the Premier League as well, by the way. That is brilliant. Oh, it's a shame he didn't score in the 11th minute to match his number. But, yeah, what an unbelievable start. And, I mean, it's just going to be a riot. Who knows? Jimenez goes for goal. First real chance for them. Saved by Hen Henderson, of course. Smith throw. Decent. Good chance. It's got to be three. It's 3-0, three lads. It's 3-0. It's 3-0. I'm sorry, what's going on? We struggled. We really struggled to beat Bournemouth. They were all over us from start to finish. And we're beating bloody Wolves, a much better team 
convincingly at half time 3 0. This is mental. But there we go. Um, how do I describe that? 3 0 up at half time against Wolves. A fantastic goal from Curtis. A great goal from Parrot as well. And the Metcha. Just amazing stuff, lads. I mean, I can't believe we're winning so convincingly here. Then again, Wolves, they could get a goal back. Roden, best chance by a mile for them. Neto, good chance for them. We're completely easing off there on him. No one's on him. Hit the post. Very good chance for Wolves. And they just keep keep on wasting chances like that. Good chance for them. Roden, another chance off the post. I can't believe how Wolves do not have a goal back. And it appears to be classic football. You score loading one off and you struggle to get any in the second. Good. Nemetra, very good chance. Curtis. It could even be four still. It could be four and it's side netted. Three changes then. Adley, Garcia and Smith throw going off for Cannon, Burgess and Harness. I may as well give chances to players that aren't going to play as much given with Rina up, you know. Power. Power. Fantastic save and brilliant strike more like. But there we go. An incredible win. A 3-0 win against Wolves. But I do not know how. I really don't. Because Wolves had so much of the ball throughout the entire game, particularly in the second half. I don't know how they didn't even get a goal back. They had the post twice through Roden and Neto, of course, but I just can't believe that game, man. We struggled, really struggled to beat bloody Bournemouth. And now we battle Wolves. I mean, Porter's going to be tough, but I wouldn't be surprised if we beat them after the fact that we struggled against a side like Bournemouth and we just beaten Wolves. But what a fantastic result that is. But now we turn our attention back to the Europa League. It still seems mental that we're in this. And this is by far and away the biggest game so far. We smashed Fernabache, uh 3-0 of course. And then we got a fantastic 5-1 win against Aberdeen. I mean, yeah, it is Aberdeen. But still, five goals in Europe in your first season ain't bad at all. Porto, though, is going to be very tough. But yeah, it is Portsmouth versus Porto. Yeah? It's not funny, David. Portsmouth versus Porto in the Europa League, the final game of the episode. Let's do it. It doesn't really get much better than this, does it? I mean, I suppose it does. A Champions League night. But look at the weather as well. That that weather just makes it look even more mental. And then with the Europa League graphics in the same colour. That is amazing. What an evening and what a night for European football again at Fratton Park. Is it going to be a regular thing now until the end of the career mode? Are we going to be in Europe again next season? Could we do it or is it just going to be a one-off for now? I don't know, but we'll, we'll see. But of course, we've gone full strength. As for their team, the first man I noticed is bloody Max Ahrens at Porto. A classic FIFA transfer there. Uh, that Oviteo guy, I've played, used him before in FIFA. He's pretty good. Uh, Suarez up front, I, I think I've used him before as well. Uh, Diego Lent has got high potential. Maybe someone we could actually sign at some point in this series, but... Yeah, I don't know many of their players, to be fair. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be tough. Porto, by far and away, one of the best teams in Portugal, along with, obviously, Benfica and Sporting up there as well, obviously. But yeah, it's going to be tough, this. I don't think I've ever played a Portuguese team with Forest. So yeah, it's going to be a first again. I'm sorry, can I just draw attention to the scoreboard? Poor v poor. I absolutely love that. I don't know why, but it just looks so weird. It's got the same abbreviation. There in Porto, a good chance for them maybe to score. Ovateo swings it in. Diaz heads it over the bar. Ovateo, been very threatening, he has. Good ball into the box, and they score. Right, not a good start. We knew we were going to get this at some point in the Europa League. What a weird episode. We struggled to beat Bournemouth. We absolutely dismantled Wolves, even though we didn't even deserve it, really, because Wolves were all over us at a long time. And now we're losing to Porto, where they have been all over us so far in this game. Brilliant. Appa, very far forward, but Appa goes for goal, and Appa has his first goal for Portsmouth. He has not put a foot wrong in this career mode. Bray plays my chief scout, of course, suggested him. He's been brilliant all season and all series, and he deservedly gets a goal for it. And what a strike as well. He took that with some... Style. That was a really good goal. And out of nowhere, I'm pretty sure he's... I think he's, he's Spanish or Portuguese. But he scored against Porto. That is a fantastic goal. And Smith Rowe. Could it be instant? Could we get two goals in two attacks? That was never going to work out. I mean, could, well, wait, 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 wait. Curtis! Oh my god! Gifted to us on the plate! He literally... 
I don't even know. Did the goalie just pass it straight to him? But Curtis out of nowhere has turned this around for us. I've got to watch this back. We didn't play it. Oh my god, what a mistake. I've tried to play it into power. It didn't go anywhere near him. The goalie then passed it straight to Curtis on a plate. And a really good finish as well under pressure. It, I mean, only just into the net, but it's still in. And Ronan Curtis is another goal in the Europa League. He's continuing to do it at the top level as well. From League One, he's still going strong. Adley, oh my god, if we get a third. Adley, if we get a third, that's just mental. They took the lead, they're all over us, and then we're going to get a third. Diaz, the goal scorer, goes for goal straight at Henderson. There we go, what a first half, end to end stuff. I mean, out of nowhere, we went and turned this around and convincingly as well. Fantastic goal from Appa, gifted to us on the plate for Curtis. They've been good, though. We've got to be wary of them as well. I mean, I can't wait for the away game. That's going to be amazing. But still, um, we lead 2-1. And we're on for a special win here. Lucky. Very, very lucky. Oh, my God, you idiot. You app. Do we even need to say anything? I just got away passing it to the goalkeeper and then I literally just give it away. Right, it, it's even now, isn't it? They gifted me a goal, now I've gifted them one. Power, keeps the ball. Clean space for Curtis. Oh my God. Ronan Curtis. You absolute legend, mate. That was straightforward, really. Look at all the space he had. But my God, this bloke. Did he, yeah? He scored that goal against um, Wolves. That's two here. He's our court hero of this career mode. He's one of the one of the lads that's going to last the entire way. And he's still going strong. He's a bit like the lolly of our career mode. You know, he's one of the OG players that no matter what level we got to, he's still performed. And that is seemingly what's happening to Curtis. Oh, and good chance, Pereira. Is that Andreas Pereira? No, I don't think it is, but he puts it over the bar. Three changes then. Williams going off for Seddon. We've also got... Cannon coming on. I don't think he's played in the Europa League so far. And of course, Marquise, again, another player that has massively earned a chance to play in this tournament. Uh, I don't think he has yet, but yeah, big chances for them. Now, I scored one of these the other day, and I put it top corner with a load of power. But I'm, I'm struggling to get it into the top corner. I'm just going to go full pelt. Oh, my God. I actually thought I'd gone in, you know. Oh, my God. Oh, let's just watch that back. I, I genuinely thought that was on target, you know. It was on target. And there we go. What a win. A famous victory in the Europa League. We will never forget this. Aberdeen was dead easy. Um, Further back, our first away win. That was impressive. But I think this is by far and away the biggest. This is the first time we were really tested, you know. We really were tested, undefined, had another absolute blinder of a game. Unbelievable humour there, David. But what a win. I'm loving playing the Europa League, particularly when we're at home as well. Can't wait for the away game here. But that is three wins from three, remember. That is pretty impressive. Right then, two more games to simulate. Of course, we've got Forest away from home. Obviously, they're Brazilian Forest are probably struggling if he actually wants to load. Of course, the best made game in the world, FIFA 20. That's sarcasm. We're 8th in the league. Not bad at all. Forrester 15th. So actually not doing as bad as I thought they would be. But Forrester away from home. I'm interested to see what their team looks like. Can we get a win at the City Ground? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. We win 3 0. Troy Power absolutely murdered. Bloody Luke Steele in goal. No. Lamucci must have left. Lamucci must have left. He's playing Steele instead of Brees. What? What are you playing at? That team, man. Carvalho on the bench. Even De Costa. De Costa should be starting ahead of Walker, really, in terms of rating. Silva. Wow. What has happened to that team? That win put us up to seventh in the league. We've now got West Ham. Okay. This is winnable. We drew this, of course, last season in the uh, League Cup and ended up winning on penalties. Can we get a win? Oh, my God. 4-1. Apple with another goal. Curtis with two, Smith throws, Silver for them, 
Wow. Okay, and that is going to put us well and truly in the European places. I'm sorry, what is going on there? Of course, we're top of our Europa League group, and I was on about the away game for Porto. That is actually the very first game in the next episode, of course. As for the Premier League table, I just want to have another look at this. Oh my god, we're sick, lads. We're sick. I mean, we've had some slip-ups, but that is still mental. We're sick in the league. Could we? Champions League ain't going to happen, but could we get European football via the league again? That is mental if we do that. But of course, we're going to get through the whole of November in the next one. Porto, the first game we're going to play, even though we literally just played them in this one, but we can't really simulate that. City away from home, this time for a Premier League game. Of course, we went there last season in the League Cup. And then Chelsea at home. So two massive games back to back there, just like we played Spurs and Man United back to back uh, not long ago. We're going to simulate that game against Fenerbahce. I'm not really worried about playing that again. Fulham is sad because I'd really like to try and play that. I like playing away at Craven Cottage, but we can't really because look at this. The next month is where it gets very hectic. Obviously, we can't simulate Southampton. That's far too big to simulate. But until next time, like I just said, please do like and subscribe to Rads. And I'll see you very soon.